first difference equations can be used to analyze the income determination while it is considered to be lagged and this is going to be done in a symbolic way its framework will be developed in this video so let's get started unlike simple income model we can introduce lags in consumption function usually we don't introduce lag we consider that the consumption of current time period is a function of the income of the current time period whereas it is not necessary a more realistic picture would be that the current in consumption is a function of the previous year's income that is income of the last period determines current consumption this is something that we see in our reality that we spend our uh, amount that we are spending during current month for example which we have earned the last month or for the labor of the last month so this is how it works so there is lagged dependence that is income of the month of november can cause our consumption in the month of december so acknowledging this fact we have a certain function for ct it is also there it is cons uh, assumed to be autonomous we are excluding the possibility of the induced investment from it and small c is the marginal propensity to consume and its range is definitely between 0 and 1 this is where we saw the marginal propensity to consume now we can substitute the values of ct and it in this function and you will see that we can simplify it easily and our focus should be on the y variable which is now the variable left in this whole equation it is also co already considered to be autonomous in nature so rearrangement is going to give us this form you can see we are keeping this term in the beginning because it is having the highest uh, order of the subscript and then we have the second highest subscript so this is in accordance to the standard form however it is uh, lacking one thing because in the first order difference equations we have yt plus 1 plus a y t is equal to small c so here we can introduce plus 1 in the subscript and that will make it yt plus 1 So, we have transformed this equation simply by introducing plus 1 in the subscript. It is now at par with the standard form. Instead of small yt, we have capital yt. And now the subscripts are in accordance with the standard form. So, this is a more uh, suitable form of the comparable equation. We can extract the value of small a. It is the coefficient of first order difference equation the constant of the first order difference equation here is equal to c naught plus i t or i naught now we can see that uh, c is appearing with a negative value and we know c is mpc which is between 0 and 1 it means that it is less than 1 when it is less than 1 it means that it cannot be equal to 1 or minus 1 if the minus sign is with it so therefore it is uh, not equal to minus 1 therefore the formula that we can select is this one we have seen this formula in the videos where we understood the two formulas where a is equal to not equal to minus 1 or if it is equal to 1 so this is the first possibility now we can easily substitute the values this is the value of c this is the value of a value of c and a and in the next step instead of writing b we write minus a and a is equal to minus c so it will become minus and minus plus c whereas we are going to substitute these values here of c and a and then we can simplify this expression we will get this expression which is the time path of the income when it is considered to have lagged dependence interpretation is here this is the time path it is definite because we don't have any arbitrary constant we have quantified it by using the initial condition which is given 
and this was the first order difference equation that we developed ideally we should have plus one here and this should not be here just to keep the subscripts at par with the standard form however the other coefficients and constants they will remain the same no matter we shift the subscripts now the dynamic stability should be questioned and answered this should depend upon CET which here is uh, representing the marginal propensity to consume whereas in the formula it was BT so it is that MPC or small c that we are focusing here now we know that the MPC is within zero between zero and one so it is likely to be less than one and if it is considered in its absolute form that is in magnitude then it is convergent because it is already less than one and absolute sign will be uh, absolute value would be also less than one making it a convergent case whereas its original value c not the uh, absolute value because absolute value will be used here here it will be the actual value actual value of c is not less than zero it is between zero and one so if it is not less than zero it is non-oscillatory so these are the two findings that we have we can also pay heed to this expression where c is written and its absolute value is not less than one and also its actual value is not less than zero when this is happening we have a non-oscillatory case and we have a convergent case so we can say that this time path is dynamically stable and it is non-oscillatory in nature this is a more elaborated form of it this is the whole value of p again it appears here however all of it is the coefficient of ct here is the ct and this actually is showing the the coefficient is showing the deviation of the um, time path from the equilibrium value and this shows that it is going to converge to equilibrium as we go ahead this term will approach to zero as the time passes indefinitely so all of it considers that the time path is going to converge to equilibrium value where the t is approaching to infinity as the time pass uh, to, uh, towards uh, undefined uh, limit so this was a framework that we developed to analyze a situation where income determination is done when there is a role of lagged dependence and then we can solve it to a symbolic extent till now but in the next video we will try to solve a numerical example of it thank you